Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to discuss the question count the number of binary trees possible given a pre-order sequence of length L. So let me quickly describe what I mean by pre-order sequence. Given a binary tree, the pre-order sequence for this binary tree will be 10 visiting the root first, then going on the left, so 11, 9, and then going back 12, 13, and then 14. So this is the pre-order sequence for this binary tree. Now the question is, given this kind of pre-order sequence of certain length, how many of these binary trees can be formed? So we will use dynamic programming to solve this question. So let's, let's start with n is equal to 1. When we just have a sequence of length 1, say 10, how many binary trees that can be formed? So just 1. So when n is 1, we can only form one binary tree. Let's discuss when n is 2. When we have two keys, 10 and 11, and this is a pre-order sequence, how many binary trees that can be formed? Let's see. 10, 11, this is one tree. 10, 11, this is second tree. So two trees can be formed when the length is, when the length of the pre-order sequence is two. So for n is two, we have two, cre two trees. Let's talk about when n is three. And the keys are 10, 11, and 12, all right? So here when 10 is a root, and then 11 and 12. This is one binary tree that can be formed from this pre-order sequence. Let's see another one. 10, 11, 12. This is the second binary tree that can be formed, which has the same pre-order sequence, 10, 11, and 12. Let's see another one. 10, 11, 12. This is third binary tree that can be formed for this pre for this pre-order sequence. 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. So in total we can get five different binary trees which has the same pre-order sequence 10, 11, and 12. So when n is 3, the total number of trees we get is 5. All right, let's work for 4, when n is 4, and the keys are 10, 11, 12, and 13. All right, so we know that 10 is going to be the root, and we know that if 11, 12, and 13 all go on this side of 10, on the left side of 10, we already know how many keys 11, 12, and 13 can form if we just consider 3 of 11, 12, and 13, which is n is equal to 3. So we know that when 10, 11, when 11, 12, and 13 go all go on the left side of 10, the total number of keys that can be trees that can be formed is five. Let me quickly write that tree: 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10. 11, uh, 12, 13, and 10, 11, 12, 13. So five trees can be formed if 11, 12, and 13 go on the left side of 10. So that is five. We already know that number is three. When 11 stays on the left side and 12 and 13 goes on the other side of 10. So the total number of trees we can get is 5, which is 11, 1 on this side and 2 on this side. So t of 2 is already 2 and t of 1 is 1. So the total number of trees we can get is 1 into 2. This is because we get all the combinations of 12, 13 tree and we multiply with all the combinations of 11 alone. So that's 1 into 2. When, when 11 and 12 are in this side, and 13 goes on the other side, the total number of trees will be t of 2, which is 2 into t of 1, which is 1. All right? And when all of them go on the right side,
the total number of tree is 5 again as we know t of 3 is 5 so the total trees we can get with n is equal to 4 and this pre-order sequence is 14 5 plus 2 7 plus 2 9 plus 5 14 all right so let's calculate for n is equal to 5 and the keys are 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. When n is 5, when n is 5 and keys are 11, 10, 11, 12, 14, 13, 13, 14, let's calculate the number of trees possible. So 10 is the root. Let's say 11, 12, 13, and 14 all go on the left side. So the total number of keys possible in this case is t of t of 4 is 40. So the total number of keys possible in this case with all four of them on this side is 14. Let's have so 14 is 14 plus let's have 11, 12, and 13 stay on this side. And 14 go on this side. So the total number of keys possible here is t of 3 into t of 1, which is 5 into 1. Plus, let's have 10 and 11 stay on this side, and 12 and 11 and 12 stay on this side, and 13 and 14 go on that side. So the total number of keys possible here is 2 into 2. t of 2 into t of 2, which is 2 into 2. Plus, we have 10 staying on this side. And we have 11 staying on this side. And 12, 13, and 14 going on the other side. So total number of keys is t of 1 into t of 3. So again, 1 into 5 plus all of them on the other side of the all of them on the right side so 11 12 13 14 which is t of 4 so 14 so the total here is 42 so if n is equal to 5 the total number of keys possible is total number of binary trees possible is 42 so this number is called catalan number We had used the same same explanation, same algorithm to solve the question count the total number of binary search trees given a n number of keys. So both the both the problems have exact same solution. Let me quickly write the code for this one. Let's say t of 0 is 1 and t of 1 is 1. This means that if we had just one key, we'll just have one tree. And let's start from i is equal to 2, i less than equal to n. n is the final number of keys we want, and i plus plus for int j equal to 0, j less than i, j plus plus t of i is equal to t of j into t of i minus j minus 1. If you want the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview, wiki, and if you want similar questions, Check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user Tushar Roy 2525. Thanks for watching this video.